Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry it has felt like this has been, I think, nearly two weeks since I uploaded last. I really, really do apologize for that. Uh, the weeks kind of just got away from me um, this fortnight. So this will just be a quick, I guess, catch up to get us back up to now and then I'll do a lot of filming and post a lot of videos coming out soon so we can catch up on everything that we've missed out on. So I'm trying to think back. Um, basically, I've just been running ragged working. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just been really, really busy. Um, kids stuff, work stuff. Um, just I guess feeling to be honest a little bit overwhelmed with everything and um just yeah put this on the back burner for a second so sorry about that but it's always at the back of my mind and I've got all the money all ready to go for it or each week so it's all they're organized um I just have to do it which I'll will do it very very soon um, so we've done a bit of spending as well. So we'll be doing a bit of unstuffing today. And um, and for those of you who are just joining me for the first time, we generally do a few videos every week. Um, and we pretty much do a weekly cash stuffing into our binders uh, to save and um, have sinking funds for things that sort of pop up um throughout the year to make sure we have the funds for them so we give every dollar a purpose and save intentionally which is i think important to do so one thing i've learned with this is to make sure that we save in just intentionally every week you know a certain percentage of our income and um yeah bas basically be purposeful with with what we earn as to where it will go rather than sort of living week to week and paycheck to paycheck. Um, so we find this really works for us. So if you're interested, we're at the moment trying to get six months ahead of expenses. So we need 50,000 for that. So we're halfway there. Um, and we want a $10,000 emergency fund. So we're also halfway there as well. So a little bit of updates. Um, so yes, one week, extremely busy, stressful with work, you know, politics, Love, you know, love my job. It's great flexibility. Um, you know, a couple of new managers. Need I say more, basically? Um, and then I got sick. So all these sicknesses going around. It's gotten really cold now. Even though we live in the Sunshine Coast, it literally bang on as soon as winter started. Sunny every single day with a nice cool breeze. So it's, you know, beautiful weather. I can't complain. Um, but yeah, just getting very cool at night so if you hear that the heater just sort of started up so I get a bit wimpy in the cold um spending so since, okay so I do owe now a thousand dollars in the credit card now that will be paid off very shortly with some completed challenges but um basically I just had to buy some uh hard drives and they're about like 400 or so dollars each um you know we had to get like four terabyte each uh for some things for some um yeah, videos, photos, movies, things like that that we had to put on there. Uh, so yeah, we had to buy that. Uh, I upgraded our toaster. So I did end up going into Joyce Main and purchasing a new toaster. And we got one that matched the kettle. And yes, it was like $219 or something ridiculous. But oh my gosh, it was so worth it. It's, it's just a toaster, I know. But um yeah, it's so much better quality. You can just tell it's just toasted really well. And anyway, it matches the toaster, so we're, that's how I'm going to justify that. Um, uh, all right, so in our... Is it this binder? This binder. We have depleted a couple of envelopes. So I'll share with you. Let me get a drink real quick. I've got some Sprite Zero. Um, lost its fizz slightly, but that's okay. Doing a few videos because I've got to keep... Keep the fluids up, especially with a tiny little cough I've just started. Um, <clears throat> so, there we go. So, I've depleted clothing. I bought my daughter some clothes and that went by really quickly, which was very scary. So, I need to fill that up again. Um, I literally haven't even bought anything for me and my husband for like at least a year or two. So, anyway, um, what else did I deplete? 
So the pleated clothing, we need to get that up. Um, I also depleted, what did I deplete? Um, depleted activities and I took some out of um, cinema and theater as well because we just went and saw uh, Inside Out 2 at the movies with the kids. We got a recliner, all got recliners. It was just like nice. Um, and yeah, that was a really, really good movie. To be honest, those movies are really, really good. And it's it follows Riley, you know, going into puberty now. She's 13. And just the emotions and all that is sort of in, involved inside your head. So for the kids, it was really, um, I think it's a really good because it had anxiety in there and things. I think it was a really, really, really good movie for kids to see. And my youngest is uh, eight. She really, really loved it. So I think anything from my seven years old up will understand that movie and appreciate it. And I think it's really good just morally to watch. So yeah, definitely recommend that one. Sports equipment, I depleted. I went into Rebel Sport and purchased uh, those, you know, those Nike shorts and stuff and crop tops and, you know, um, some leggings and just stuff like that, um, for my daughter's gymnastics. I uh, got my son, I think a hoodie as well. So yeah, so that's depleted. Sports equipment is done. We need to get that back up to say two, three hundred dollars. Um, then sports equipment. Then I also purchased last weekend I purchased a fire pit so out of our home binder I took that out of uh what it is I think I emptied it yeah plants and garden which technically it's out in the garden so <laughs> I depleted plants and garden the fire pit of course of all of the eight that were in there the one I wanted was the most expensive what a shock um but i i'm glad that i got i got that one because the other ones were a lot too small or they were too high or they were too i don't know but it was they're really really nice so just in that first week we did like three fire pits so it was really nice because I, I grew up with fire pits in from tasmania and uh in the forest and everything so we had a lot of bonfires firework nights which we know we can't do anymore um, and yeah, it was really very nostalgic for me here in the crackle and building the fire and yeah, so kids really, really enjoy that. So that's going to give them good memories, um, moving forward as well as, you know, it's nice and warm. So it's quite, yeah, nice. The other thing though, on a sort of a downside that we did deplete was we had to get both cars serviced. Um, so yeah. So that's what it is. So we have in car maintenance uh, $150 left. So that's how much we have left. So we just will work now on building that back up and get that up to, you know, two and a half thousand if we can. Um, so hubby's car cost $1,600. Servicing, I think, was 700 and something for the yearly service. And he needed some two things in a car anyway. I can't remember what it was now, it was a couple of weeks ago. Um, and then my car service was around, I think it was like eight or 900 or something for the year. And then I needed, oh, uh, what was it? Um, some bit, anyway, the bits are only like $55 each, but the labor <laughs> of course was, I think it was exactly about $1,650 for my combined service plus what needed to be done to it as well so yeah unfortunately I had to which I'm gutted to but I guess that's what it's there for I took out $1,000 out of um, my emergency fund for my car here so I've got I had a thousand dollars in there and I took that out so that's okay, we'll try and get that up, get that on um, the car up again, but look, that's what it's there for. And luckily that was all that needs to be done. Um, and my tires aren't gonna last much longer, even though I only did them a few months ago, so it's a bit scary. But anyway, um, yeah, so the other bit of news um, is uh, I've been finding it very sort of, 
I don't know whether it's reaching 40 midlife crisis or something. I don't know. I always felt myself to be a very strong person. And as hard as everything has been this last nine years, extremely hard. Um, yeah, it's only now. Let me just turn that heater off. It's actually a bit hot. It's only now that um, I'm feeling... Look, I've not gone anywhere in what? Jeez. Pre kids, yeah. I think we haven't, I have never gone away without the kids before. And everything I'm constantly, as you, you mums will understand, I'm thinking of is them 24 hours a day. So, and the guilt and the, just things like that with work and just, you know, it's con absolutely constant. And I decided, and I spoke with my brother, that I have booked just me and him to go together. Because I just need to get some friends, I know. <laughs> um, here. I have booked a three-night cruise on Royal Caribbean, leaving Brisbane in March next year. I am super duper duper excited. Feel weird because... I haven't been away from the kids, but then my hubby's been away from the kids five nights at a time, many times, and I deal with it and still work. I don't see, yeah, why he can't for a Friday, Saturday night. <laughs> anyway, so that's how I'm, what I'm telling myself anyway, so I can do it. It's going to be very, very hard when I get to it, but look, what I've done is I've taken my mumcation little envelope, and I have put a cruising one. So I put a hundred dollar deposit on the cruise and then I've got to fill up that and then that'll be the cruise paid for, which is due in December. We have to pay for it all um, in December. And then this filled up will be my drinks package, unlimited cocktails for three whole days, unlimited food for three whole days, unlimited desserts for three whole days, even though hopefully my diabetes is in remission, but they said it's okay for a few days. And look, I think... I deserve it <laughs> after, you know, many, many years. So, yeah, it felt like I've lost a little bit of myself. So, I, um, yeah, I know you ladies will, you know, be there for me and all the rest of it. So, yeah, this this is what I am really looking forward to doing. Just, I've literally never, yeah, I can't even imagine not, worrying about where someone's got to be and when and appointments have got of what and what they're going to eat and when they so it'll be really really nice to even for myself not even have to worry about that because it's all included so that is what's sort of most important to me so sorry for this sort of bit a little bit of deep and meaningful <laughs> um video but yeah it's been a little bit tough couple of weeks so this is always here and i'll always be here doing this so don't worry about me ever leaving but um yeah, I'm just wanted to update you. So we've got the cruise happening. I spent a few out of, you know, all of my envelopes. Um, yeah, work's okay. We're plodding along through it. I've been there about four years or so now, and I'm planning on being there till retirement. So a long time. Um, <clears throat> yeah, just ups and downs with everything. So, um yeah, so I wanted to say I've been watching all your videos. I've been commenting on as many as I can. Um, it's hard, though, whilst I'm driving and things like that. But, yeah, I'm excited in a way of coming up even for Christmas, which is ages away, I know. So I'm really, really looking forward to stuffing my Christmas binder and getting some tax back. So I hope I get lots back so I can stuff as well, which will be really exciting. Um, and I'm also thinking in the works I might get one more binder. Because I just need a bit, I, I was, I literally was thinking the other day that I'm not, not, that I'm not happy. I'm not like having any fun or enjoyment sort of in my life at the moment. I know it sounds really bad, but you know, of course I am with the kids and everything else. I'm just feeling a bit in the grind of life a little bit. So I am going to get a binder and I've thought about this a lot for a long time, that just incorporates all categories that are for fun. So when I stuff that binder, it will just be 
for fun field activities, things to do. Um, not even the travel, but like, um, I don't know, like, um, I don't know, bucket list things I want to do. And I was even going to do a bucket list binder at one point. <laughs> I thought um, Amanda at Mum Wife Budget Life was going to do a bucket list binder ages ago. And I said to her, um, and I was thinking, oh, that's actually a really good idea. But, you know, that's sort of more long term. But um, just things like, um, oh, I can't even think now. Have I have written a whole list of things that I want to put in there? Things that just make me feel excited to stuff so I will be adding that one soon too when I figure out what categories that I want and what color binder I want to go with so yeah anyway thank you so much for listening everyone I'm going to do and some cash stuffings now and they will be coming up in my next video I got a cash stuffing I have an epic um challenge stuff in savings challenges which will be great because uh, i'm going to be completing a fair few of them um which will be really, really good and yeah i've got a few to catch up on so i'll probably be posting every day or two so yeah thank you so much for watching everyone and uh yeah thank you for letting me ramble on and please feel free to subscribe i'd love to have all of you you following my journey and seeing how much basically money we can end up with and uh, setting our families up for the future so feel free please subscribe please push the bell notification so you'll be notified of any more uploads that i do coming up very very soon and yeah i'll talk to you soon guys bye